Paul, in your gallery, I see a variety of style, of substance. How can you explain that? I know that artists sometimes can uh, zero in on one particular area of expertise, uh, but there's so much variety here. Can you elaborate? <coughs> yes. Um, artists, basically, they want to do different things. But the galleries today, they, they direct them in one style because the gallery has a certain clientele. They know that they can sell this style, that they put them in some kind of a highway. On the other hand, I'm an educator in the arts. Then in my school, I have to have variety of every school, from abstract to classic and everything in between. I see. First, to educate my students of different styles, and second, to prove them that whatever direction they will take, I can direct them and I can help them because I can produce it, I have studied about so it. So consequently, when I look at some of the work <coughs> on the wall here, there is a variety of subjects. Can you tell me about some of these beautiful pieces here? Yeah, well, some of them, they are more abstracted than others. Uh, some of them, they are more realistic, like the one that we see behind me here, the underwater. The horses are abstracted. Uh, the other piece is a little bit more contemporary in, in colors. It has a little bit more realism than the horses are. Uh, the other one on top with the red dot there, uh, that's even more abstracted with uh, larger um, uh, forms. Uh, if we go to to this one, this is going to be realistic, but it's in progress. It's not finished yet, uh, the one on the floor here. And of course, if uh, the camera later on turns to the left, we are going to see another realistic piece, um, which is uh, a scenery of um, a seascape. That's the one. Um, that has more realism. In fact, a lot of realism in, in the broken waves. They are very uh, foamy instead of being hard.